Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to install Vivecraft into a Minecraft mod pack. Um, currently, some of the mods are a little bit incompatible, so I'll show you how you can uh, find out which mods are incompatible and how to fix those as well, um, for the most part. So the first thing you want to do is download Vivecraft itself. Uh, this won't be linked in the description because I've been having issues on YouTube with links, but it is vivecraft.org forward slash downloads. You should be able to find it. Um, you scroll down here to the current versions. Um, in the future, it might be in the older versions, but for now, this is where we're going to go for. For this example, by the way, I'm going to be showing you all the mod 6, since that's a pretty big mod pack at the moment. It has a bunch of mods, and it's pretty up to date, so as long as it works, in theory, most other mod packs should work too. Um, we're going to click on this one right here, Vivecraft 1.16.x. So this one right here, you can see it's for the VR client over here. I'm going to click on that. Now, once we click that, we'll be sent over to this GitHub page. What you want to do is just scroll down. We can see Vivecraft 1.16.5. That's our Minecraft version. And it's version 7. It's not version 1.17. So we'll scroll down. And this one right here is what we want. Vivecraft-1.16.5. JRBuddha7-6-installer.exe. Now, I can install this because I'm currently signed in. If, if it's not letting you download, you might have to make a GitHub account. But we're going to click on this. And it should start downloading, I think. Yep, here we go. I can go ahead and click save. Once that's downloaded, before you even try to fix any incompatibilities, you can go ahead and install it. So I've got it right here, this uh, installer. I'm going to double click on it, and that should run it. You can see we've got this window here now. Um, select Path to Minecraft. We're going to leave that completely the same, even though we're installing to a mod pack. Um, we're going to install Minecraft with Forge, and now we need to figure out what Forge version we need. So what we're going to do is go back into Curse Forge. We're going to left click on our mod pack. And then right here, we can see our Forge version. So ours is 36.2.8. This will likely change in the future as well. So you can always check back here to see what version we're at. So we're going to go back into our installer here. We're going to click custom version, 36.2.8. I believe that's what it is. We can double check. I'll drag it over here. Yep, 36.2.8. Okay, that's good. The next thing we're going to do is, I guess we'll allocate 8 as much as it will let us because ATM6 is a pretty beefy mod pack. Um, we can go ahead and change this custom name to... Um, ATM6 um, Vive, just so that we know that we've got the right one here. And then Modpack Directory, we want to tick this, and that's when we need to go back into CurseForge. We can go back here, right click on our Modpack, click on Open Folder. Then at the top here, we want to click on this bar so that we get all of this highlighted. We want to right click that and copy it. Then we want to go back into our installer, click these three little dots here. Then you can go ahead and paste it right here. So you might have to use the Control V command to actually paste it in because it won't actually let you right click in here but control and v at the same time will paste this we can click open and that there we can see instances all the mod 6 atm6 we can look instances all the mod 6 atm6 we should be good to go um these ones you can pretty much ignore unless you happen to have like a treadmill uh thing i think that's the the vr thing that you run on to move a anyway we can just go ahead and click install Please ensure you have closed the Minecraft launcher before proceeding. That, as far as I'm concerned, is not the CurseForge launcher. It is the vanilla Minecraft launcher. So make sure you do not have the vanilla Minecraft launcher open. And we're going to click OK. Successfully installed. So I believe what that did just then, it's going to be longer for you if you're doing this for the first time. But that went ahead and downloaded and installed Optifine. And it downloaded and installed the latest version of Forge that we picked. Um, so I've already downloaded those. So it was instant for me but the downloading will likely take a little bit longer for you guys. Um, so we can go ahead and click OK. Now what we want to do to actually... Um, well, well, if you launch the mod pack now, you'll encounter an issue. It'll say something's incompatible, something's not working, or it might just outright crash. So that's where we need to go back to this um, website. We're going to go back to... Um, we'll, we'll see if it'll let us go there. Back to Vivecraft.org. Then on the right side here, we want to look at Vivecraft Forge Compatibility. Now, I know specifically what you're going to need for this mod pack currently, but in the future, this is where you find all of the issues. You find all the issues here, and sometimes, specifically for this mod pack, you find a solution as well. So currently, Selene is a mod in, in uh, ATM6. It's in some other mod packs as well. So if you're having this issue, check for this uh, specifically. And it is broken. What we want to do is actually click on this link here, and I believe that'll give us a download. We want to get this mod. Make sure you save it somewhere that you can remember. All right, so then we want to go back into CurseForge. We're going to right-click on this again, open the folder again for our mod pack. So we're in the right mod pack, ATM6. We want to go into the mods folder. So we're going to open this up. Then we're going to look for this incompatible mod. So for this example, it is the Selene mod. So you can obviously search for it, or you can just scroll down, whichever is easier for you. 
Um, Celine is right here. Now you can go ahead and delete that. It's gone. Finished. Deleted. M magically gone. Then what we want to do is get this new one that we downloaded. And we want to go ahead and put that into the folder. So we're going to drag that in, move it in, and there it is. It's in the folder. That That is it. We should, in theory, be good to go now. Um, now what you go ahead and don't do is launch it from here. You don't do that. You need to load up the actual vanilla Minecraft launcher. So already, by the way, let me just go ahead and say, you should be good to go now. If you were just here for ATM6, you, you should be good. You should be able to launch the game. It should all work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and launch it, show you exactly what to do. So we can see down here, ATM6, Vive, Vivecraft Forge. If you need a different version, you can click here and try to find um, the actual one. So obviously, I've got... Oh, I'm scrolling around the whole thing. This is a bit weird. Um, I've got this one here, ATM6, Vive. That's the one that we just installed. We called it something different. You can see these other ones I had named differently. And we're going to go ahead and make sure it's selected. We're going to click play. We need to make sure that we have Steam VR open and on, as well as our, you know, our VR headset on as well. Um, we're going to click play. We understand the risks of playing with mods. Well, if you don't, I guess maybe you shouldn't tick that. But if you understand the risks, which is, I don't know, you're going to have too much fun, go ahead and tick that. And now the game will launch. Now, it'll take a little while because, I mean, not only is it VR, but it's also a mod pack. This is normal. After a little bit, you should see the VR version. It should, once again, take a little while to load. You can actually put on your headset while it's loading and look around. What I will say is try not to click anything. Don't click on the program a bunch with your mouse. Don't click on it with the triggers um, in your VR as well, because it can crash while it's loading. Your best option is to just let it sit. Genuinely, just, just let it sit. You can go and do other stuff. You can load up YouTube, watch some videos, but just let it sit while it loads. Oh, here we go. I believe this might be the VR one. I... I a a anyway, you'll, you'll see it in a second. Okay, so as you can see, my mic quality has gone down because I'm now using the VR headset. And if we look down there in VR, you can see it's loading. Um, so you can see all the details there. Once again, you just want to let this sit. It will take a long while, um, especially because Optifine makes the loading times like three times longer for whatever reason, um, even without Vivecraft. But you need Optifine with Vivecraft. It's like built together. Um, so we're going to wait for this to load. I'll show you as well, even with changing that mod, you can actually still play on servers. Perfectly fine. Um, I host the server with my community. If you want to join, a little plug there. Um, all the information's in the Discord linked below. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll show all that working in a second. Okay, as you can see, I have loaded in. We get the Optifine warning. We're going to proceed. Um, we should be able to see all the mods 6, version 1.8.9. We can see all the mods installed. I'm going to go into multiplayer. I'm going to click add server. I'm going to put in my IP. I think I can just... No, I don't get control. Oh, paste. Yeah. There we go. Join. I know you guys see the IP, but you still need to join the Discord in order to be uh, whitelisted. It's an automatic process, but um, it makes it so that we can communicate issues with you guys. As you can see, I am now in the game. Got all my mod stuff. I'm on the server. I don't really know how to bring up the server list. Is there a, <laughs> is there a way to do that? Um, chat. I don't know, you can see a bunch of server stuff here. Um, you can obviously see it's claimed as well. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're in the mod pack. I don't, I don't know what... It, oh, God. As you can see, there's uh, some settings you probably want to change to make your experience a bit smoother than, I guess, what I'm experiencing. But um, it works, and that's the main thing. So, uh, yeah. I realized I should probably do the outro with uh, a good microphone, or at least a, a better one. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this helped you. If it did, please do consider subscribing and liking the video. It helps out my channel quite a bit. Um, if you have any more questions, you can leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to try and get to them. Otherwise, if you go to Discord, um, I, I know not many people might like going there, but I, I'm, I'm pretty active there. So you're more likely to get a response, especially if the video is quite old, because I tend to not get that many notifications. Um, so yeah, ho ho hopefully this worked. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.